CJ Stroud was the second overall pick in this past year's draft. And he's the obvious rookie of the year frontrunner due to his record setting rookie season. But today I'm going to be resetting his stats and making him a zero overall. And the only way he can raise his overall is for every yard that he gets. Our goal today is to become a 99 overall. And if I can't do so, I have to give away a CJ Stroud jersey to one of my loyal subscribers in the comments below. I mean, I love you guys, but $130 on a jersey I won't even be able to keep is crazy. So because of that, I had a little extra motivation to ball out with CJ today. CJ Stroud! Oh my god, we, we completed a pass! But come on, it wasn't gonna be that easy. Dude, he was wide open, CJ. Why is he celebrating? He didn't even do anything. So my game plan with the first game was just to throw short underneath routes and just hope that my receivers could make a play after the catch. Oh, Nico Collins! Okay. I would have liked to see some yards after the catch, but that is fine with me. And I would get a little lucky with this next pass. Yeah, that probably should have been picked off. But we were looking good in our first drive. Yo, these completions are actually looking pretty, pretty promising. And with the touchdown right here, yo, our first drive was awesome. I promise you, it would not get any easier. Okay, well, that's incomplete. We would struggle this drive, failing to convert on fourth down. Well, that's a sack right there. And although we would score a touchdown on our very first drive, that would be the only touchdown that we would score this game. 48 to 10. But even after a lopsided loss like that, we at least had something to look forward to. Okay, well, CJ definitely had the worst game of his football career. I mean, five interceptions is horrible, but we did get 178 yards. So that is going to equal 178 points to upgrade CJ Stroud. And with missing easy first time completions like this play right here, I knew exactly what to upgrade. Okay, so let's max out the short throw accuracy to 99. And with the remaining 77, I'm going to add that to throw power. So 77 throw power isn't horrible right now. It's definitely not the best, but we'll settle with it. And so we are still a 12 overall with CJ. We have a long way to go, so don't be going anywhere. Because if things weren't already hard enough facing off against a divisional opponent the next week, we had some other problems as well. Okay, well, we're going to up the difficulty to Hall Madden. That is the hardest difficulty in this game, by the way. And yeah, me, I was just hoping we could pass the 50-yard line this game. Okay, uh, that's not good on the very first play of the game. And because of that, the Colts would score seven. And just like that, we were back on offense. Okay, we are back on offense. But nope, you could definitely say we weren't back. Okay, that's the CJ Stroud I know. Yeah, not looking too good. And yeah, this game was not looking good. He just picked that from us. How did he pick that from us? And yeah, this game was an absolute nightmare. CJ, you did not just overthrow him. With only having 48 yards, midway through the second quarter, I discovered a play that might have saved us. Yes, the running back screen. The running back screen is going to save us. And in fact, it would do just that. Dude, we are moving the ball now, baby. And it gave us the ability to throw downfield. Nico Collins, what a reception. And yeah, we were down 24 nothing, but I will take my dubs whenever I can take them. This is an amazing drive, fellas. We would even get our first touchdown. CJ Stroud and Nico Collins. Oh yeah, we're not riding back. What an absolute dot. And yeah, all of the final score would be very lopsided. I'll gladly take my moral victory this week. CJ Stroud actually didn't have a terrible performance today. I mean, yeah, five interceptions is horrible, but I will take 240. 44 yards any day of the week. A very positive performance from that aspect, CJ. I'll gladly take 244 points to upgrade you. Okay, we're gonna spend 22 of our upgrade points maxing out throw power. We're gonna spend 99 of it maxing out to medium throw accuracy. I'm gonna put 24 on throw under pressure. With the remaining 99, I would max out CJ Stroud's awareness. Okay, yes, this stat by itself, awareness is gonna be so crucial for us. You just have to trust me. Okay, well, we are up to a 49, pretty much a 50 overall with CJ Stroud already. That is actually insane. I was not expecting that. And I also wasn't expecting to play another divisional opponent, but here we are. Okay, the Jacksonville actually has a pretty solid defense, but they're 0-2 though, so they shouldn't be that good. But I don't think the Jaguars were the problem. DJ, you have 99 medium! How can you not hit that throw? But he would redeem himself with this next play. Way to hang on to it, Schultz. But we would get stuffed on these next two plays. How can you not get the first Damian Pierce? And once again, we were already trailing. Okay, good catch. Robert Woods. Come on, guys. We can win a game, right? This would certainly help winning games. Nico Collins with a strike down the middle from CJ. Our first big play of the video. Now, go back to not only the underneath routes, but the halfback screen. Good blocking, guys. Okay, I'll take that. Almost first down. And 
once more. Damian Pierce way to get on the edge. There's a first down, baby. Just like that, we were looking to tie this ball game up. Robert Woods, which we would do. Touchdown, Robert Woods. We were in the end zone. And with that, the Jaguars would respond with seven, meaning we also had to respond with seven of our own. All right, Dalton Schultz, it's a nice start. I would find Devin Singletary underneath, but CJ would miss such an easy throw. Oh, he was going to be open too, man. And to get his confidence back, I would call another slip screen. Oh, Damian Pierce, break a tackle, baby. And once again, yes, yes, yes. Good block, good stiff arm. But this was a two-minute drill, so we had minimal time to celebrate. CJ Stroud delivers a dot to Nico. Let's go, Nico. But there is still some to be desired. Dude, we have to make these throws, CJ. We have to. We have to, man. He was just missing simple throws. There's just nothing you can do, man. He's just not good enough yet. And it was just obvious that the Houston Texans weren't ready to win their first game yet. 38 to 10, man. Regardless, CJ would post his best stat line of the video. 307 passing yards with one touchdown and three interceptions. I will take that. I am not mad at all. CJ, that's phenomenal that is 307 points and cj missing easy throws that could have resulted in touchdowns for us it was pretty obvious what we were going to upgrade next all right let's max out that deep throw accuracy let's max out throw under pressure get that bad boy up there we're gonna max out throw in the run too and i'm actually gonna put my remaining points on stamina and we jump up to a 77 overall okay another massive jump for cj and with facing off against pittsburgh next week CJ would get called out. CJ Stroud needs to play better. Coach is calling him out. So playing better is exactly what he did. Oh, Dalton Schultz is wide open. Big gain. It was evident that he was starting to arrive. Oh, nice little dot to Robert Woods. Okay, I see you. But I'd still go back to my roots. Yep, slip screen. Yep, yep. Devin Singletary, break a tackle. Almost pick up the first. But it was CJ's time to prove that he was that guy. Oh, Dalton Schultz, break a tackle down to the six. And just like that, the Texans we're back on the board. Touchdown, Nico Collins. Man, it's been scoring all of our touchdowns. And even with the Steelers kicking a field goal, they were going to have to score more than that nowadays. Oh, CJ to Nico Collins is a connection I can get behind. But we still had some other good receivers as well. Our right, Tank Dell, nice route. CJ's feeling himself. We would drive down the field with passes to the running back, even to the tight end and Dalton Schultz. But ultimately, we would find Nico Collins. Nico Collins for the touchdown. Look at everybody celebrating. That's number two and the Steelers would fail to score anything giving CJ Stroud the opportunity to score another touchdown Nico Collins is unguardable yeah Nico was starting to steal the show a little bit Nico Collins wide open come on we gotta make a man miss we gotta make a man miss okay we're down inside the seven but it would be Dalton Schultz that ends this drive with the touchdown Dalton Schultz putting us in the end zone yes sir and this was finally the game where CJ Stroud broke out with the Texans offense scoring 30 points in a shootout victory 30 to 27 the boy Boys get the dub and you could say cj stroud had an i'm him moment 27 for 38 with 366 yards and four touchdowns this man has finally arrived that is going to be 366 points our most from a single game okay we got to be very cautious of what we upgrade next because we should be able to get to a 99 overall after next game so with these 366 points i would upgrade break sack max out play action as well while also maxing out speed and putting the finishing touches on maxing out stamina okay yeah that's the last of our points and we are all the way up to a 93 overall well we're pretty much a 94 with that mrl minus but you get what i mean and so it seems as if this would be our final game the two and two atlanta falcons man and the defense is the best part of their team so it should give CJ Stroud a nice challenge. But in all honesty, all the challenges were behind us. That is a dart to Nico, man. CJ would make this drive look easy, delivering dots to multiple players of his, ultimately putting us in the end zone. Robert Woods into the end zone. That might've been the easiest touchdown of the video. But with instantly being given the ball in the red zone again, I may have spoken too soon. Okay, well, never mind. Dalton Schultz was wide open for another touchdown. That may have been the easiest one of the video. But the Falcons responding with three points of their own they were gonna have to score touchdowns to keep up with us nowadays oh my god nico collins spin okay we'll take it and dalton schultz would follow that up open right over the middle of the field we will take that but there were still some problems with cj yeah you know what i don't have carrying upgraded all the way so uh yeah that made perfect sense and even with the falcons scoring seven i wasn't worried in the slightest oh robert woods and i would go back to the slip screen yes block for me dude but with back-to-back -back sacks cj really had to show us something 
Robert Woods. Okay, there we go. And with that drive inning and a field goal, we would get the ball to start the second half where this would happen. Robert Woods, come on, go! Yes, touchdown! And the Falcons would respond with a touchdown of their own, meaning it was time for CJ to clutch up. Yes, Nico Collins right over the middle of the field. And Nico Collins would go superstar mode with this next play. Nico Collins is actually not human. Nah, he is not. And Robert Woods would follow that up with this. Okay, I guess because the linebacker's in coverage, he somehow caught that. Because otherwise, he should not have caught that. You could say that CJ Stroud just had a little bit of fourth quarter magic. And of course, it's going to be Nico Collins in the end zone. Hitting a nice little team celebration. And the Falcons not scoring. CJ Stroud had the chance to put this game away. Robert Woods is just so good. But the Falcons unable to do anything. Damian Pierce, go! And although the game was over, I wanted to get CJ his fifth touchdown. CJ Stroud for touchdown number five. History is being remade. And yeah, that would be the cherry on top. 38 to 35. And because I have Bijan Robinson in fantasy, I'm so glad we beat Arthur Smith. And the only reason we beat him was because of this guy. 474 yards and five touchdowns is absurd. This man just threw for five touchdowns last week. So this is literally poetry. You could not make this up. And I'll take the 474 yards too. That is going to be a lot of points to help us. But I don't think we need that many if I'm going to be honest. Okay, I guess I'm just going to upgrade acceleration, upgrade agility to max that out. I guess I'm just going to make this man the next Lamar Jackson. I mean, I might as well. And yeah, I mean, that's all the upgrades that he has because we essentially maxed out all of his passing accuracy. So yeah, that's it. And we are now up to a 99 overall and we are now star dev too. You'd think it'd be at least a superstar, but I mean, it is what it is. We're 99 overall, so I'm not going to complain. And just like that, my job here is finished. If you enjoyed this video and challenge and you want to see me do it with a different player, I actually did it with CJ Stroud's good friend, Bryce Young. So just click right here if you don't want to miss it. CJ Stroud likes Bryce Young, so I mean, you should too.